do the border for the short end of the blanket. It's not difficult to do and it's um, really quite enjoyable to do but it's probably easier to explain than it is to write down. I will write it down but I thought I might um, uh, show you how I do it and maybe that will make things a bit clearer. So first of all I have made all these cute little what I call buttons but they're really just the first round of a granny square and uh, I've made uh, a certain number of colours using colours from the um, flowers in the blanket and I, what I wanted to do when I uh, decided to uh, make this border was I wanted to introduce a variety of colours somehow. I also wanted to do a kind of zigzag triangular border and um, I looked at Google which is always the place, the go-to place and I found a really good little video um, I'll put, I can't remember who it is just now but I'll put that in the, the pattern to make a proper nice little triangular um, zigzag but I also wanted to put these in into the triangles so that you've, you're, they're attached um, to the green triangles. So this is how I go about it. Right. So first of all, um, I've done, oh, I didn't explain this. Uh, to make a nice edge to work on, I first of all made a row of double crochet, single crochet in American terms, in the green that I'm going to be making the triangles out of. It's a bit tricky across the top of this border, I have to say. It's a bit of trial and error, but you do manage to get one, two, three, roughly four stitches across the top, and that makes making this part of the border so much easier. It's You have to do a bit of poking and, um, you know, it's good to use a bit of brute force to get your hook through this, but it does work. So I'm going to pick up the first I'm going to attach my yarn to the first stitch there we go and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make a double crochet into the same st stitch that's a single crochet in US terms and that's the start and then I'm going to yarn over because I'm going to make my next stitch is going to be a treble crochet. So I'm going or double crochet US terms. But let's let's I'll just keep talking in UK terms. And um, so it's going to be a treble, but first of all, I'm going to miss the next two stitches and put my hook into the third one along and make a treble. And then I'm going to do exactly the same in the same stitch and make a second treble stitch. So you've got one double, space of two, and two trebles in the one stitch. At this point, you can see how the triangle is beginning to climb. So at this point, I'm going to take my little button. And there are obviously four corners to this button. We're going to attach it to the blanket with three of the corners. So I'm going to put my hook in from the front, yarn over and pull through. So it's a slip stitch. And that's the first anchored part of the square. Now the interesting thing, this is the bit where it's difficult to um, probably write it down in the pattern, but much easier to explain. The next thing I'm going to do is look for this second treble stitch and I'm going to put my yarn in around that treble, yarn over, pull through and pull through two, which is a double crochet. So basically I'm going to make two double crochets around the post of that treble stitch. Not difficult. So that's me starting to come down the other side of the triangle. I'm going to bend this round 
into the next, um, no, tell a lie. Let me, before I do that, I'm going to complete the triangle by going into the next stitch and making a double crochet, which just anchors the triangle. So now we've got a nice little triangle and a wobbly button. So the next thing is to find the next corner and make another slip stitch through that. And then I'm just going to go back into the same stitch and make another double crochet. And then I'm ready to continue with my next triangle. But as you can see, this little button is still wob wobbling around because it hasn't been anchored in the third corner. So next we've done the double crochet, miss two, and we're going to put two trebles into the next stitch. And then find the next corner, which is here, make another slip stitch, and then it's time to do our two double crochets around the post. Let's see that there we go. Now there's the first button anchored with the triangles and I'm going to finish off by making two double crochets in that next stitch. So there we go, we've got one triangle, two triangles and the button anchored. So it's time to start again, I'll do another one and let you see. So we miss two, yarn over into the third one along and two treble stitches and then we pick up the next colour into, let's take a nice open one, there we go, into a corner and slip stitch. This is possibly the trickiest part because it just likes to wobble off the, the hook. There we go, pull it through. There we are. And then it's two double crochets around the post of the second treble and then a double crochet in the next stitch, pick up the next corner, slip it and another double crochet in that stitch. And then we yarn over, miss the next two and start the next triangle. So it's two double cro uh, treble crochets third corner, slip stitch, and then two double crochets through the post, down to the bottom, double crochet in the next stitch, and another double. And there we have two buttons attached with the zigzag.